Last Wednesday evening at 6.57, shots rang out at this university neighborhood apartment building. Not very far away, students on St. Cloud State University campus were going about their business. Chong Yang was in class when he found out about the shooting going on just blocks away. And the first thing that went through my mind was, is there going to be a lockdown? It's just a couple of blocks away, are we going to see lights? If not for a classmate receiving a text from a friend at the scene, the class would have gone unalerted. Yang expected to receive an alert from the university, but nothing came. So we just stayed in class. I'm, I'm sure everybody's thoughts was, was still on the shooting because mine was. I'm standing at the 800 block of 11th Street South. Campus is right behind me. This is the apartment complex where the Wednesday night shooting occurred. Now, since class was still in session and a criminal is never apprehended, some students were left wondering, why weren't they alerted? So at that time, there wasn't an immediate threat to the university. Based on information from the St. Cloud Police, public safety decided an alert to students wasn't necessary. They had suspects um, almost immediately following the incident that they were pursuing, that they were um, following up on. And so While campus officials felt that students weren't at risk, some students still felt they should have been informed. I'm a little upset, you know, because like, you know, we should be, we should be warned about situations such as that. Yeah, it alarms me that we didn't, I didn't hear about it and I don't think anyone else has heard about it. And I'm a little concerned for the student body because, like I stated before, issues like that should be, you know, made aware with the students. Ferran says public safety and the St. Cloud Police will use the events of Wednesday as a learning experience. We do have the opportunity now to have that conversation about should the, the pr procedures change for the future. Emily Haig, UTBS News.